Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to install WordPress in Linux Mint. So WordPress is a very popular blogging platform. Many web hosting services provide one-click WordPress installation on the server but today we will see how to install this in Linux Mint on localhost. So before installing WordPress, your system must have LAMP stack installed and configured. The LAMP stack stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. I have already done a video on how to install LAMP server in Linux Mint. So here I would recommend you to check out that video in the playlist or you can click on the link given in the description, description below. So I pre-assume that you have already installed the LAMP server and now I am going to start it from here. So first go to file system and where folder next to the www folder html so these are the two files that was created while installing lamp stack so you have to delete delete these two files because they might uh, might interfere with the wordpress installation so just right click here and open as root give your password and now delete these two files okay now delete it so uh, next just open the terminal and and we are going to create a mysql database user and password and password for that so just type here command mysql space dash u root space dash p for password hit enter and here you have to enter the mysql password that you created while installing lamp stack so give that the same password here after entering hit enter and now you are switched to the mysql console next here uh, here you have to uh, type the mysql commands so next let's create the database suppose the database name is wordpress so caps lock database and the the database name will, will be wordpress word press and uh, semicolon hit enter so this database is created next I am going to create database user and and with password so type here again create user WordPress user at local host space identified by and uh, the password for this user I'm going to keep it very simple for this but uh, but you make sure that you type the type the strong password and again semicolon hit enter so uh, a new user is created next I'm going to assign privilege to this user to use mysql database so just type here command so here this is the command grant all privileges on wordpress to the wordpress user at localhost so uh, after that hit enter so this privilege is given to this wordpress user to access all mysql so next i have to apply this privileges changes to the mysql 
so just type here hit enter so next I'm going to exit MySQL so just type here exit hit enter and you can see bye so everything is done with MySQL so next we are going to download the WordPress tar or gg file so just type here wget http column wordpress dot org slash latest dot tar dot gg hit enter so it has started downloading wordpress so this is now saved to the home directory next i'm going to extract this latest dot tar dot gg file so so type here tar dot xzvf and i'm going to paste this file name in here so just use shift control and v to paste it here and enter so all wordpress files are extracted next i'm going to install two dependency packages uh, so type here um, sudo apt get update and so again sudo apt get install the package name php 5 dash gd and lib s s h 2 dash php so this will allow you to work with images and install plugins on your wordpress hit enter so this dependency package is now installed uh, next i'm going to change the present working directory to wordpress so type here cd wordpress and enter so you can see the content in this folder ls command ls hit enter so these are all the files into this wordpress folder here you can see there is wp config dash sample dot php so we are going to create a duplicate duplicate php file with different name that is with name wp comments sorry with wp config ph dot php so just type here cp and I'm going to copy this wp config sample dot php file name copy it here and paste paste it here and so I'm going to copy it to wp config dot php file name so just edit it hit enter so uh, you can see this uh, new wp config dot php file is created with this same same content as wp config sample next i'm going to edit this file so you have to type here sudo gedit and wp dash config dot php hit enter so this is the the file that we have to edit here so just scroll down and you have to change the database name database user and database password here so let's start I'm going to change the database name that is WordPress and the database user I'm going to give it here WordPress user and the password so I am keeping the same password but uh, you make sure you you give difficult password so uh, just save this file by pressing ctrl s now it is saved next so next I'm going to transfer these WordPress file to the Apache servers directory so you have to type here sudo rsync and 
dash a v p to wordpress sorry wordpress slash space slash var slash www slash html hit enter so you can see all these files are transferred to the apache servers directory that is into your html folder so next here i'm going to change the directory cd and cd2 slash where slash www slash html hit enter and next i'm going to list the content into this folder so type here ls hit enter so next i'm going to create a upload folder into wp content directory so type here mkdir and wp content slash uploads hit enter so this uh, upload folder is now created into wp content directory so everything is done here next launch the internet browser and here uh, just to go to localhost type here localhost hit enter and here you can see you are taken to the wordpress installation page so just uh, you need to enter this information here like site title username and password so just i'm going to enter the site title here just click here and i'm going to give the name linux forever username ambush that's my name and the password so you make sure you give very strong password here so I'm typing it again typing the password and and just uh, here enter your email that's my demo email next next just click on install wordpress and just wait here so you can see this message that wordpress is successfully installed with this username and the password that you have chosen so again uh, i'm going to localhost hit enter so you can see this is the default wordpress page with the default theme and the and the post hello world so next uh, you can again log in to the wordpress dashboard by typing here localhost slash wp admin slash hit enter and again you have to only give the username and password just again i'm typing the password click on login so this is the wordpress dashboard now you can just write a post so that's all for now friend i hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching